Good morning, guys. August 29th. Two more days. It's over. But Jeremy, the little guy, is actually coming out with me today. So I'm going to pick him up. See if we can uh, find some help. Little man. I think this is the first time we've been out scouting together. Around the 18th this morning. In like forever. So we probably won't see a dang thing. But see how it goes. We're heading out. We got a poke of a drive. I haven't been losing sleep because I'm sleep deprived from getting up so early, so that's good. One way to sleep at night is to just starve yourself of uh, sleep. Get up early. So, we're going to find the big one today. We're going to find the one because we're drinking Seeker. I like it. All right. And not Mountain Dew. Not Mountain Dew. Proud of him. He's turning a new leaf. But we're both still fat and out of shape. <laughs> Go to dog season. So I'm gonna do a preseason weight and a postseason weight. I have the sneaking suspicion it might be like a 15 pound drop. But you're gonna be fat, and then you're gonna be just a little less fat. But you're still gonna be fat. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> One eight hundred. Don't eat donuts. All right. See ya. <laughs> high in elevation most of the places I've been the raspberries are not that good still but these ones are literally perfect there's a million of them but we got three cameras checked and uh, there's a ton of bulls hitting that valley it's kind of a pain to hunt because it's uh, two and a half miles the short uphill way and probably three and a half to four the long way but it's not too bad until you shoot one in there. Then it'll be interesting. But there's abundant snacks out here. We're going to go uh, change areas and check a few more. We're going to do a ladder stand double. There's a wallow straight across over here right there. Of course, my camera is on that tree facing that way. So I don't have any pictures of the bull that did that. So we're going to change that and move it on to that tree right there. Get this set up and uh, maybe I'll sit here. Maybe Kevin will sit here. Jeremy's dad, Kevin, you might remember from a couple years ago, had a Custer State Park tag, has an archer tag as well. So see if there's a big bull that shows up. And if there is, we'll hop in here and try to stick him. Well, it is day before I'm leaving and uh, I'm just getting my life together it's crazy how much stuff you have to take when you're gonna be gone for eight days but I got a package today you know what that means we got a new Rambo for this hunt so it's gonna be fun it's a Crusader 2.0 I'm gonna get it put together here but I've got most of my other stuff loaded, maybe halfway done. I uh, have an organized mess in here for what it's worth. We got the lodge out here and we're getting it loaded down. So tomorrow night we'll be at elk camp and I'm looking forward to it. Long time coming. So it is time, but I'm going to hang up because it's already after 10 o'clock and I got a couple hours of stuff left to do, so I better go, but we'll see you tomorrow. I just left work for the last time and we're going elk hunting. 
my wife's grandpa Larry is not doing very good so I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to head out tonight and we're praying for him he is the biggest trooper strongest guy I have ever met in my life but my wife told me to go so we're gonna go see if we can make him proud because I know uh, he would he would love to be doing something like this if he was able so we are heading out had a couple quick stops to make and we should be able to go scout tonight and my buddy Jared did in fact get trail camera pictures of the big bull that he saw the other day and he's a good one so I think we might try to focus on him tomorrow morning but first things first we'll see if we can turn him up tonight go from there it's gonna be fun eight straight days of elk hunting here we go James and I met up with Jared. Jared found a giant this morning. And uh, we have a special guest. What's your name? It's Trace. You got anything to say? We're gonna hear a big bull tonight. I think we are. There's a big bull hanging out around here somewhere. Tomorrow's opening day. We are sitting at camp and uh, tomorrow is the day. Probably not gonna be a lot of sleep tonight, but we got our nice little setup. We uh, plugged in outside of a cabin, so we have some power. We don't have to run a generator all night. Getting ready to go. Got the Extreme 2 and testing out the new camera. But stay tuned tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get on some action. But for now, bed. We'll see you in the morning. It is opening day, the day that I've been dreaming about for like 18, 19 years. We're getting geared up. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today, but it also will probably be like 30 or 40 degrees this morning. So I am going to wear the Fallon lightweight t-shirt from Huntworth, the Fallon long sleeve t-shirt, my Shelton hoodie, and the Durham pants. And... It's like the perfect little setup because I'll start with those three layers and as the day goes on I can shed them real easy but the Shelton hoodie that grid fleece kind of will help this morning because it's going to be pretty nippy. Hopefully uh, all, th all four of these clothing items turn red today and if not we got time so it doesn't have to be today but you wearing the same thing bud? Pretty much. Yeah buddy. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Got it. We're good. I'm a hot mess this morning, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> We heard Abel, so we're trying to get the wind right and get up on this high hill where we think they might have been yesterday and uh, see what happens and get after him. But we're going to find out here in a second. So stay tuned. Well, we are back at camp and uh, we went and checked a couple cameras and got pictures of the bull that my uncle hit with his rifle last year in the same exact spot too. And he blew up into a giant. And uh, I think we might sit there tonight. So that'd be pretty cool uh, 
to end that story, we weren't sure if he was going to make the winner. You know, just when you hit one and it gets away, you always hope they make it. Well, now we have proof that he did make it. And hopefully uh, he'll come in. He was hit a wallow. I have a camera on yesterday. They were there from like 4.30 to 5.30, almost an hour in this little aspen patch. So fingers crossed, maybe he'll show up tonight and we'll be done on the first day. Don't really want to be done on the first day, but he'd be worth it. He is a stud, so. What do you think? You think we should go hunt him or go hunt a raghorn? It's a no-brainer to go hunt him, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. Well, we just got in to the wallow spot in this little aspen grove. We don't know for sure where they're coming from, but there's like major bedding over here and then this big ridge, so kind of split the difference. And Yesterday they were in here about an hour from now, so with a little luck, maybe we'll be done on the first day. First day is a wrap. We're making some tacos. Fun day, kind of quiet. This evening was kind of exciting. Uh, just trying to locate some elk and <laughs> stopped to listen right at dark and they just ate us live right at the pickup. I guess you- uh, I on a little action finally. Yeah, work your ass off all day to try to get in range. All you need to do is just sit at your truck and not even call, They'll just come right to you. But it was a fun day. We're gonna eat have a couple lattes and uh, hit the sack and do it again tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. It is day two of archery elk season and we're gonna try to find a rut frenzy this morning. We got our good luck charm Papa Smacks in the back seat and uh, things are getting gonna get real. What do you think Pops? I'm gonna find a big one. 350 plus. Oh, geez. All right. Dang. All right. Let's Set do the it. bar high, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you out there.
had some excitement this morning at least, but that was the big bull that we were sitting on last night that my uncle hit last year in the shoulder. He moved, we're probably a mile and a half as the crow flies from where we sat last night. So they made a decent little move, but fortunate to get back on him, but just too many eyes. And we tried to bomb him, I had the decoy, it almost worked. I think we probably had him at about 80 or 100 yards at one point, but we didn't have any other plays, but we kind of know where they went. So uh, we'll see if we can get back on them tonight. Hopefully the herd busted up a little bit. But for now, uh, gonna get out of here, run back to town, see the kiddos for a little while and head back out tonight. Over now. Well, I just got back to elk camp. Had to go uh, spend a little time with the kiddos. My wife's grandpa isn't doing too hot, so I uh, wanted to be there for a little bit, but I'm gonna go get ready. We're gonna hit it, see what happens tonight. Stopped up on top, inert bugle. I'm just trying to pinpoint it, so I think it was over this way, but I could be completely wrong. The wind was blowing up there, so see if we hear him again. I heard it again. I think it's that way. Well, we found them. They were already out in the open, so there's no play on them tonight, but we saw two two of the bulls, or a good six points, not ones that I'd probably shoot, and then uh, there was another one bugling in the timber, so I think I'm gonna drive back around and get on the other high hill and just see if we can watch them come out and see if it's the bull from this morning or not. But, fun night seeing elk anyhow. So take it. We decided to make a play because we still have 40 minutes till dark and there's a timber patch. They kind of seem like they're heading to. And it's right between us and them now so we can stay hidden. If nothing else we can just watch them till dark and see if the big one's in there. I don't think I'd shoot either of those six points. They're both really nice, respectable bulls, but it's a once in a lifetime hunt. It's day two. So, we'll just go see what shakes out here.
had much of a play, but could have killed a five point. Backdoored us. I have no idea how they didn't see us. Well, we're back at camp and it was a fun day. Had a lot of action, saw a lot of elk. It's always fun putting eyes on them. Sometimes you'll hunt like all day and hear them all day, but you'll won't really see any elk because it's so thick. So uh, tonight was pretty fun to just get to watch them all. We tried to move in, we had that five point come by. Before dark, there was like seven or eight bulls. I don't know for sure, but between four and eight bulls ripping and there was like 60 or 70 cows that come out of there tonight so I think tomorrow could be fun we just need to make it happen so guess we'll see what the morning brings we'll see you then <laughs> 